when trying to understand the timing of a product, I try to understand what's changed or what changes have occurred prior to your innovation or at the same time as your innovation that enable your product to be successful and enable your product to be maybe even possible. So it may be that, uh, for example, um, a lot of people will talk about the cell phone dividend these days, which is how cell phones have made certain sensors incredibly cheap, you know, accelerometers and, and gyros and things like that. And it may be that we have a, uh, your product de depends on those products being very inexpensive, and those components being very inexpensive. And uh, so that would be sort of why now, why, why is this possible now, but it wasn't possible five years ago, well, the components are now at a point where we can, be, we can make this product so inexpensively that we can have a consumer product that might be, you know, pennies to make or something like that. And that's the, that, that sort of helps you understand why your product is, is possible now, and then help me understand also why is it the right time for your market? What's, what's happened? Is there some confluence of trends that have happened in your market, which whereas now is the right time for your product to be successful? So, the best companies always have the wind at their back. There's some wave that they're riding, and it could be very early. Typically, in in our case, when we're investing, we're investing at the seed stage. It's very very early in the in the beginning of a new trend. But there's some sort of macro situation that's happening that's changing the market. It's changing what customers want, changing expectation expectations, and uh, and you're you're going to benefit from that. So help me understand that as well.